Welcome to the quiz on landforms and water bodies. You will learn about the Earth's surface and water, and facts about them. Ready to have fun? Let's start the quiz. Number one. What is the name of a large area of flat land with few trees? The answer is letter B. Plains are often found near coasts or along rivers. They are good for farming and building cities. Number two. What is the name of a large body of salt water that covers most of the Earth's surface? The answer is letter A. There are five major oceans on Earth, the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian, the Arctic, and the Southern. Number three. What is the name of a landform that has a peak and slopes down on all sides? The answer is letter D. Mountains are formed by the movement of tectonic plates or by volcanic eruptions. The highest mountain on Earth is Mount Everest. Number four. What is the name of a landform that is surrounded by water on all sides? The answer is letter B. Islands can be formed by volcanic activity, erosion, or continental drift. Some of the largest islands in the world are Greenland, Madagascar, and Borneo. Number five. What is the name of a large flowing body of fresh water that usually empties into a sea or an ocean? The answer is letter C. Rivers provide water, transportation, and habitat for many plants and animals. Some of the longest rivers in the world are the Nile, the Amazon, and the Yangtze. Number six. What is the name of a body of water that is partly enclosed by land and has a wide mouth that opens into a sea or an ocean? The answer is letter A. Bays are often used for fishing, shipping, and recreation. Some examples are the Bay of Bengal, the San Francisco Bay, and the Hudson Bay. Number seven. What is the name of a body of water that flows over a steep drop, usually into a river or a lake? The answer is letter D. Waterfalls are caused by changes in elevation or obstacles in the water course. Some of the most spectacular ones are the Niagara Falls, the Angel Falls, and the Victoria Falls. Number eight. What is the name of a landform that is a low area between hills or mountains, often with a river running through it? The answer is letter A. Valleys are formed by erosion, glaciation, or tectonic activity. Some of the most famous ones are the Yosemite Valley, the Amazon Basin, and the Napa Valley. Number nine. What is the name of a landform that is a large natural elevation of the Earth's surface, smaller than a mountain? The answer is letter C. Hills are usually rounded and gentle in shape. They can be formed by erosion, deposition, or volcanic activity. Some examples are the Seven Hills of Rome, the Great Serpent Mound, and the Glastonbury Tor. Number 10. What is the name of a landform that is a cone-shaped hill or mountain with a vent or opening at the top from which lava, ash, and gas erupt? The answer is letter B. Volcanoes are formed by the movement of magma or molten rock under the Earth's surface. They can be active, dormant, or extinct. Some of the most famous ones are Mount Fuji, Mount Vesuvius, and Mauna Loa. Number 11. What is the name of a small body of water that is surrounded by land on all sides? The answer is letter B. 
ponds are usually shallow and can dry up in hot or dry weather. They are home to many aquatic plants and animals, such as frogs, fish, and water lilies. Number 12. What is the name of a landform that is a large, flat area of land that is higher than the surrounding land? The answer is letter A. Plateaus are often cut by rivers or canyons and can have different climates depending on their elevation and location. Some examples of plateaus are the Tibetan Plateau, the Colorado Plateau, and the Deccan Plateau. Number 13. What is the name of a landform that is a dry area of land that receives very little rainfall and has sparse vegetation? The answer is letter D. Deserts can have different types of sand, rocks, or soil. Some animals and plants have adapted to survive in the harsh conditions of deserts. Some examples are the Sahara Desert, the Gobi Desert, and the Atacama Desert. Number 14. What is the name of a water body that is a large inland body of fresh or salt water, usually surrounded by land? The answer is letter A. Lakes can be natural or artificial and can have different shapes, sizes, and depths. Some of the largest lakes in the world are the Caspian Sea, the Lake Superior, and the Lake Victoria. Number 15. What is the name of a water body that is a wetland area that is partly or permanently flooded with water and has a lot of vegetation and wildlife? The answer is letter C. Swamps are often found near rivers, lakes, or coasts and can have fresh, brackish, or salt water. Some of the most famous swamps in the world are the Everglades, the Sundarbans, and the Okavango Delta. Number 16. What is the name of a water body that is a shallow, coastal body of water that is partly or completely separated from the sea by a barrier such as a reef, an island, or a sandbank? The answer is letter D. Lagoons can have different colors, salinities, and temperatures, depending on the climate and the surrounding environment. Some of the most beautiful lagoons in the world are the Blue Lagoon, the Laguna Colorada, and the Bora Bora Lagoon. Number 17. What is the name of a water body that is a small, fertile area in a desert where water and vegetation are found, often due to the presence of a spring or a well? The answer is letter A. Oases can provide water, food, and shelter for people and animals in the desert and can also be important for trade and culture. Some of the most famous oases in the world are the Siwa Oasis, the Alasha Oasis, and the Huacachina Oasis. Number 18. What is the name of a group of islands that are close together in a sea or ocean? The answer is letter C. An archipelago is a group of islands that are close together in a sea or ocean. Archipelagos can be formed by volcanic activity, erosion, or tectonic movement. For example, the Philippines is an archipelago of more than 7,000 islands. Number 19. What is the name of a large stream of ice that moves slowly over land? The answer is letter B. A glacier is a large stream of ice that moves slowly over land, usually downhill. Glaciers are formed by the accumulation and compaction of snow over many years. Lastly, what is the name of a large deep body of water that is partly enclosed by land and has a narrow opening to the sea or ocean? The answer is letter D. A gulf is a large, deep body of water that is partly enclosed by land and has a narrow opening to the sea or ocean. Gulfs can have different shapes and sizes and can be important for trade and navigation.
Thanks for watching this video on landforms and water bodies. How was the quiz? Tell me in the comments. Like and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.